Hey, what's going on guys? Paul Tech here again, and today I'm going to show you some uh, recent updates with the Metro PCS LG G Stylo here. So I did get the software update last night. It just downloaded automatically. So I had a little bit of time to play with this device, and I'm just going to show you a couple things that I've discovered that's new with it. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and go to settings and go down to about phone and software info. I just want to show you that it is on Android version 6.0 here. So we do got that. So next what I want to show you is a real neat feature that has video calling now. So basically you're just going to go and open up your dialer and then when you open up your dialer you have this feature now. So I have used it. I did call on my uh, LG K7 from the LG Stylo and it worked really well. So basically as long as you're calling another device that offers this feature of video calling, um, it'll work perfectly fine. So on Lollipop we didn't have this option right here, um, but now we do. So that's a really neat option that we're able to do video calling now. And you don't have to be on Wi-Fi to do it. All you have to do is be on your 4G LTE network and it will it will work. So that's something neat. So next thing what we have is Google Now on Tap. So we finally have that. So basically what you want to do is just hold down right there. The sides of your screen illuminate and then this pops up right here. So uh, see what's new in Google Now. Tap the G below to get updates on news, weather, sports and more. So you're going to get these cards here which gives you information on the weather, currency exchange, uh, time at home, um, stories to read. So you do have that as well. So with Google Now on Tap, it just doesn't end with just doing that. So I'll go ahead and give you an example. I will, um, let me just go ahead and go to Play Store here. So for instance, uh, this game here, Olympus Rising. So if you want to know some info about it, basically just hold down this again and then it will pop up uh, related information. So Olympus Corporation is a company and then related news for it. And then you're able to go on Google, YouTube, Google Plus News and um, go ahead and research whatever it is that it's showing there. So it's a pretty neat feature and I really like that. So I'll go ahead and give you another example. For instance, Marvel Avengers. So if you want to know some more information, do the Google Now on Tap. And then it will pop up um, information regarding that. So and there you have the video game developer right there, uh, Marvel Comics. And then you can just kind of jump to YouTube and it should go ahead and be uh, related to that. So it's a pretty neat feature. I like that. And another thing what I want to show you is if we go to recent apps now, you do have a option to pin. So you're able to pin these to your uh, recent apps. So basically no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to clear these out. So even if you press the clear all button, whatever is pinned on your um, recent apps uh, won't be removed. So you've got that option there now as well. As we scroll down, you do got um, a, your dual window feature here so let me go ahead and let me go jump to YouTube and I'll give you a uh, better example of this here so for instance let me just click on one of my videos okay so and oh I'm gonna show you something else that's pretty neat too so for instance if I click on this video and now I do Google now on tap whoops let me go back so now if I do uh, Google now on tap so let me go ahead and do it so now it will give you um, related information to uh, the YouTube video you're watching there so LG Stylo Metro PCS review and um, you can Google it you go on YouTube um, images now and uh, LG electronics so it gives you information on just a variety of things so even if somebody text messages messages you uh, a location uh, a movie um, you can do Google now on tap and it's going to give you uh, related information regarding that so let me go ahead and jump back to the um, recent apps so if you see this right here that's for dual window so that's the dual window icon and not all of them support it but you have to basically find another one that does support it 
and then now you can go ahead and play that now you have access to dual window just like that so and then also if you click on that you're gonna get these options as well okay so let me do this for you so it'll flip it from up to down now you got this one here so tap uh, icons or drag up and down to open two apps at the same time so you got that as well and let's see here so this is going to expand it to just one now so yeah pretty neat feature and the dual window is still there so you got those options there and then you can just exit out so you have that x there as well so pretty neat pretty neat like i said i'm still going through this uh, lg stylo and um as I learn more, you know, I will post more videos and share with you so all of us get the full knowledge of this software update. But I just basically wanted to show you that. Um, someone did ask if this does have advanced messaging. So I see it there. It does say advanced messaging. So um, I never noticed that before, but it is there. And, but, yeah. So, so far so good. I haven't experienced any issues with my LG G Stylo here. So, um, yeah, so mine's running pretty smooth. Battery life just seems to be um, still good. No issues with battery life. And this video that I want to share with you. Okay, so it's ringtone ID favorites. So you can either enable this or disable this feature and you can select who to compose ringtones for numbers with no ringtone id so let me go ahead and just go right here and show you so you can hear incoming calls with ringtones composed automatically from their phone number go to sound settings and select who to compose ringtones for so you do have that uh, option as well so that's uh, pretty neat you do have that ringtone id as I've heard comments about this in the past is how do you silence your phone completely and now you have this silent sounds and vibrations so you can enable it so you won't get any sounds or vibrations so let's go ahead and just click on that so I can show you so you can select priorities schedule let me just go right here so you can see so you can silence the sounds and vibrations of your phone you can also set a schedule to turn on do not disturb priority only and alarms will sound vibrate and everything else is silence so I know a lot of people uh, were wanting a feature like this and now you do have it with the software update so we do have that right there which is pretty neat so I think that's basically it and all the things I have discovered so far but as I discover more things with this upgrade I will definitely share with you and make more videos. Uh, once again, thanks uh, for watching the videos. Thanks for supporting my channel and thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.